Okay, here's part three. Not even gonna do an introduction. Let's just go ahead and get started. Now we just gonna talk about the next group of people who didn't even like working there. The cleaning ladies. There was this one sweet ass cleaning lady. She always did her job. She did an amazing job. She literally always did her job. And one definite thing that made me angry about a lot of the employees there, they thought they that the cleaning ladies were our maids. So like in the break room, the tables and like the little benches or whatever, they would always leave their trash or leftover food and everything on the tables thinking like, oh yeah, but the cleaning ladies are gonna clean it up. Okay, and, and? Just because that's their job, don't classify them as your maids. I know you've grown enough to know to clean up after your damn self. There were a few nights where me and our employee, me, me and our employees, me and my coworkers, we would go get our stuff, and then we just see the table a hot mess, and we're like, yo, that's just fucking disgusting. Like, why would you just leave your trash like that? Like, the cleaning ladies, the, like, yeah, they might clean it, but that's just rude as fuck. Like, they're not our maids and stuff. And then we, the people who did not make the mess, would clean the tables and stuff like that. Cause that's just fucking disgusting like why would you leave your shit on whatever and there was just one time where like one employee almost got put on blast because like her starbucks cup was um sitting on the table and someone took a picture of it and posted on our um store facebook group we had one and i'll tell you why in a little bit um posted it and it was like yo whoever be leaving like the table like this you're fucking disgusting like clean up after yourselves we all grown just clean up after yourself and her name was blasted like right on that cup because it was on there so everybody knew like oh that is her cup and she ain't clean it okay back to the sweet ass cleaning lady i loved her she oh, so sweet so, mm, so cute cute little um, mexican lady like every time i would see her she would be like a morning miha like hi you know whatever and um, she would always say good night, Miha. You know, see you tomorrow and stuff like that. Like good night, and you know whatever. So like I go in the bathroom, mind you. There's like I don't even know how many clean ladies they are, but I don't even remember them. Okay, I just remember her. And um, I go in the bathroom one time, and um, she's like, she looks upset. Like she looks mad. I'm just like, oh, are you okay? She's like, no. She was saying how like on the schedule, they like scheduled her for one day, but yet all the other women who don't do their jobs got scheduled like three days. And she's like, how am I gonna pay my bills? And stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, she's going off, girl. I'm sitting in that bathroom. I'm just, I'm sitting there and I'm just there like, mm-hmm. Because like, for one, they wanna be out there. And two, that's fucked up. Like, honestly, like, Honestly, she was the one that really did her job and like the other ones they always like kind of just fucking up or half ass in their jobs and stuff like that Like um, she would be saying there would be like, you know a mess or something Like that she would see one day and then like two days later. She still see that mess like Because she don't be you know working every day Obviously she would clean it when she would see it, you know, whatever it came to a point where like um I believe the managers told us one time that like yeah sometimes it's just the custodians they can't or the clean ladies they can't come to like every mess so we have to start cleaning it up ourselves because I think like district they said something or whatever like there's trash all over the place and you know we gotta pick it up well, nine times a ten we don't even see it sometimes and it mostly is like if it's that one cleaning lady she makes sure everything is clean but when it's the others they kind of just don't care so she was just upset it's like how are they going to give her one day when she does all the work and then give the rest of them, you know, more days when they don't do shit? And she was thinking, like, I'm probably going to have to find another job. Like, Miha, I can't do this. I'm like, oh, damn. Like, I really don't want her to go because she's so sweet and everything. And, like, you know, whatever. And it just hurt me because, like, why, why would y'all fucking do that to her? Like, I don't know why they did that, but that just, that made me upset. Like, why the fuck would y'all do that? Like... And just let me tell you quick about the whole scheduler thing. I don't know if this is, happens at all Forever 21s, but I think it does because I know at my other job we actually did have a special computer website system thing for scheduling, which makes life so much easier. But at Forever 21, if any Forever 21 employees are, you know, watching right now, please confirm down in the comments if they still do this with scheduling. They print it out. They just print it out and then they put the um they put the schedule out like in the office area and everyone has to go like look at it and stuff like that 
Um, yeah, that was very annoying. I'm like, wow, that's a waste of paper and that's a waste of ink. That's all I was thinking. Like, that's a waste. Because y'all have to do that, like, every week, you know, printing out the schedule. What me and one co-worker, we were talking and I was like, honestly, it would just be better if we all had, like, a Facebook group um, for this. And it's like, honestly, why wouldn't you think of that before? Um... To, you know have like a Facebook group page for this and like someone to like could take the picture of like the schedule whatever and then post it out there so you know everyone could see it we didn't think about that because for one not everybody had Facebook I don't know why but almost everybody named mama had Instagram so we would have like Instagram groups but they weren't even sufficient because in Instagram book groups you're allowed just like a certain amount of people in a group so I was like logged on to like three to five groups and it was so annoying like it was just not sufficient or whatever so I was talking to my coworker, you know just kind of saying it just to say it but I think that next day she actually made the group page I was like great yeah go ahead cool all we had to do is whenever the schedule was put up because it was always usually always on a tuesday or wednesday the schedule was put up and it was always put on up after five o'clock so that means that during somebody's lunch if they were closing that day they would just have to you know go there really quick or on their 10 go there really quick take a picture of each sheet of paper okay and then just post them easy enough yeah so that's what we did and it worked out real good because we was on it like people would get their schedule and I would hurry up and put in my calendar and then you know we could easily be like hey I need someone to take the shift or I could cover this shift or could someone switch with me we just be on it y'all we just be on it you know whatever that's why if you didn't watch that last part she couldn't mess with my coins because I was on it picking up everybody's shift like you could try it little miss eight years but it wasn't gonna work okay okay one thing that did kind of suck about forever 21 was the dress code and it was on two occasions with the first manager and then the second with the first store manager then the second store manager with the first store manager when me and my friend got hired um, after orientation we were told because at that moment we were the number one store in our district so our store had black lanyards to set us apart from like other stores so we didn't get the black lanyards because they were like oh we ran out so we have to order more bitch they never ordered more so we all were all stuck with yellow lanyards I'm like okay fine fuck y'all yet the managers and some of the other employees they had the black lanyards the store manager she guessed I guess she wanted us to be set apart from the rest of forever 21 stores so on the weekends including Friday which last time I checked Friday is not a weekend but we would have to wear black and white or either all black or all white or we could wear gray um you know on those days if we were scheduled that day so um me and my friend we thought you know it was real cute because then we could look classy but the more and more we worked there it was like more stressful because every time we went shopping we had to like at least buy a black or white item and we kind of did that every time we went shopping it's like i gotta buy black and white because i don't know whenever i'm gonna be scheduled on the weekend so you know whatever but usually like um the rest of the week we could usually wear whatever we want I guess there were some limitations but no one really cared after a while no one even told us kind of but finally someone did we didn't have to wear black and white anymore I was like oh great cuz I'm tired of that to be honest I really am cuz sometimes I would just be dressed up to the nines I was dressed up to the nines okay I remember one time like the day before I did a hair show so my hair was all up in this nice updo and I was like you know what my hair is nice I'm gonna make my makeup look nice I'm gonna just you know I wore like a cute little like cream shawl and then I wore like a white button down and I wore a black skirt then I wore like these little tan wedges whatever they it was like real cute and everyone was like oh look at you you looking all fancy and whatever and then one of my co-workers he had a girlfriend but and he was like real cute too um but he was like wow you look like real good like you look like you know fancy and stuff I'm like I got my my entire outfit was from here he was like really because I cannot tell I was like <sighs> like girl go get your man come get your man boo come get him get your man okay I don't even want him like come get him honestly I didn't want him though but obviously I'm not that kind of bitch so I didn't take him also he really loved her I don't know why but whatever after a while we didn't have to wear black and white I was like great that's awesome so like we only had to wear black and white when we wanted to so you know 
that's cool and if we wore any kind of color like they would really like get on us about it and it's like okay and because my friend she had like this black and white like two piece um and it was from forever 21 but it had like flowers on it or whatever i guess the flowers were like too colorful because a manager came and told her something about it but it's like woman it's black and white okay it's not my fault that your damn clothes gotta have flowers on everything like that's it what's wrong with you on the second occasion when dress code sucked was when our second manager came around she was pretty chill on the dress code until after a while i guess i honestly kind of said it was my fault because i was wearing crop tops to work because i didn't care i feel like it was that but then also like some people were just taking out of hand wearing like booty shorts to work i'm just like can y'all not though we're at work it's we don't want to see your ass cheeks. I really don't want to see your ass cheeks. So can y'all not do that? I guess they were just reinforcing the dress code that was already there. So I was like, damn, I can't even wear crop tops anymore. But I low key went around that at one point. My friend, she kind of wore booty shorts, but she had like other black shorts that were like under them. So if they were ever to go up, you couldn't like see like her butt. You just saw, you know, those shorts and whatever. She got like low key in trouble for that. that. But what really got me mad was um one of the rules was women females could not wear denim shorts i'm like denim shorts like why can't we wear denim shorts and like the only denim shorts that i had were these like bermuda shorts they literally stopped above the knee. you know what if I, i'm gonna go find them hold on Okay, so I couldn't find them, but you know, the ones that stop like kind of right above your knee, that's the ones I had. Those are basically the only denim shorts that I owned and that I would wear in public at that time. So like, I wore them to work one day and um, my manager, she saw me wear like a touch base or whatever. And then one of my other coworkers, he is wearing like, not the same shorts, but like basically Bermuda shorts as well. And like, you know, I'm standing next to him. And then like, I talked to her after the touch base. I'm like, hey, I know you said that we couldn't wear denim shorts, but like, are these shorts okay? She was like, no, unfortunately you can't wear those shorts. But I'm like, but they're just like his shorts. He's like, he could wear those shorts, but you can't wear those shorts. What? Are you serious? And the thing is, his were ripped, like at the bottoms they were like frayed or whatever. So I thought maybe she would say something about that. Mine were frayed at all. They look like basic Bermuda denim shorts. That was it. They went like above my knee, y'all. And I couldn't wear them. She said, I'm not gonna like, you know, do anything about it now. Like I'm not gonna give you like a write-up or whatever because you're supposed to get a write-up. And like, I'm not gonna give you a write-up, but like just know that you can't wear those again. I'm like, okay. But I'm just like, that's... <sighs> I'm like that's that's so dumb like I, I can't wear those shorts yo it's hot it's hot and I think we're not supposed to wear leggings either but at some point we was all wearing leggings because girl it's hot I'm not about to wear real pants like and don't even come at me about leggings or pants like y'all don't come at me with that they're comfortable shut up okay so let me tell you about this time where one of the managers we're gonna call him Trevor it's not his real name <laughs> but I did mention him in my part one story but I didn't give him a name then so he's gonna be now referred as Trevor hi there was this one time yo Trevor has caused many problems with all the employees yo with one employee he caused her not to get a job but that's a whole nother story because I had to ask my mom about this and then my mom told me then I had to tell my co-worker about me <sighs> Like I had to ask, it was a whole thing. Yo, he was like crazy. Like even customers knew he was crazy. Like one time he like low key yelled at like one coworker. He was like my friend. And then like the customer was right there. And then like the manager, like Trevor, he walks off and he's all like, nye, 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 nye. like talking to himself and stuff like that. And the customer is like looking at him like, wow, he's disrespectful and rude and stuff like that. And then my coworker is like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's that's not you know what i want to tell you about this one time there was a disney channel star that came to our store yes um i don't even know her name but i do know she's the blonde girl the blonde girl off of girl meets world it was her because she was releasing her first album i believe 
Um, so they like completely, they didn't completely rearrange the store, but they like basically dismantled this one room for her meet and greet and stuff like that. Like, yo, it was crazy. Like there was like a crazy line and stuff like that. And they had to like bring her in the back way. I'm just like, we got a back way. Like, honestly, it's like, we have a back way. The only one back way I knew was, um, the area where the trucks come in to drop off, you know, of the shipment of clothes that was it but i'm like do we have another back area because i know about it um yeah but it was it was crazy whatever like customers are just going like that shit crazy um i think there was at this this one point where like the girl she was like leaving she was going up the escalator and um the only reason why i know about this is because these this customer like there was a mother a father and the daughter they like were standing next to me and then they told me about what happened and i think like the girl was like waving at everyone that um was like saying oh we love you ah! that was like down the escalator she's like bye whatever and i think the the girl the daughter of the woman that was telling me the story she like you know says hi or she's like i love you or blah 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 and she kind of just looks and then she kind of just like looks away and stuff like that and she was like you know how rude she is and blah 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 but i'm not even gonna talk about that whatever but um that day just completely was chaotic because of that so um one of my co-workers she was helping the customer look for something and um like the customer she has an item in her hand she like okay i'll like go look for it because she's about to go downstairs because it might be somewhere downstairs so she takes the item and like she's walking down and like the customer is you know with her and they're on the escalator and then she sees trevor and then she was like hey trevor because she was about to say hey trevor have you seen this anywhere so she's like hey trevor and then he like with an attitude says no we don't have that anywhere basically didn't even let her hostess even come out like it was real rude and stuff like that and my coworker she said she was like really upset about it and she um like it was embarrassing because like the customers are with her or whatever and she you know because she was venting to me and i'm like girl go tell the manager and this was after my incident with miss eight years i was like go tell the manager okay because we ain't about to let these managers you know go tell the store manager sorry because we ain't about to let these other little managers get work get away with whatever then i told her my incident i was like you know what? just go tell her okay she may do something she may not but just at least go tell her and she didn't and i was like wow okay and then with the one where she was trying to get another job and stuff um like she was really really upset i think at one point she was like crying because she was like telling her boyfriend and stuff like that and um and i told my mom about it because like i was so confused because i guess she said that she applied to this one job and then she put the store manager on there as a reference because we all liked her we all know like she gonna give us like a good you know a good you know whatever so um the store man like she wasn't there the store manager wasn't there so like he picked up the phone they asked him um you know hey can you tell us about your employee you know how is she whatever and he was like i'm not going to answer any questions about her he was like give them straight attitude and everything and he like hung up and the reason why we know is because the people who called the store called her and told her like yeah so we called the store and um this manager named trevor he wouldn't answer any questions about you he was really rude and she was like oh okay and they kind of just never talked to her again uh, i was like wow so she was like really really upset because she was really just trying to get out of there um so like i told her like yo like go tell the store manager or um something and then i told my mom about the incident and then my mom was like no she's called hr so she's like she's called hr because what if she was like the only like if she was the only one bringing income into her household like that's wrong it's like preventing her from like you know bringing in money so she needs to call hr so she called hr and like reported it and stuff like that i don't remember what they said or whatever but apparently obviously they didn't do nothing about it because he still worked there so there's like a whole bunch of stories i could probably say about him but i can't think of all of them right now because yo i'm hot oh let me tell you something about little miss eight years um i guess she got a problem with homeless people first let me just say this right now uh if you steal something from forever 21 you know we employees can't do anything right like 
all we could if we see you we can't say hey why did you steal that we have to go up to you and be like oh did you need a bag for that item that you know you probably accidentally put in there or you probably you know whatever you probably didn't have anywhere to put it so do you want a bag or do you need help with something blah 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 we have to be like fake about it you know i'll be like bitch why are you throwing that in your i see you get that out your bag now basically we can't do anything we can't chase after you whatever if you watch my second part you know that the first store manager she chased after someone she wasn't supposed to do that which is kind of funny but it's like you know what you use a g you hold it down for your stove like you gonna get them get them girl get them just know honestly we can't do anything about it that does not give you permission to go steal from that store because that's stupid I'm also not gonna lie some of the sensors don't even work because one time I bought something I bought something I had the receipt okay I came home like when I went home I like hit it because it was for my mom I hit it and then like two days later I saw that the sensor was on it but it's like but the alarm didn't go off so I'm like whatever so I tried looking at videos how to take it off um and I couldn't take it off so I had to come back at the store with the receipt had to take it off and they took it off and I was fine so there was like everywhere you go there's homeless people so there were like I guess these two homeless women it was a I mean no two homeless people one was a man one was a woman and they would come in you know uh, a few times out of the year they would come in and stuff like that they would walk around and stuff and we we noticed them but we didn't say anything to them like okay they're just here you know they probably went to the food court or something i don't know before we actually went upstairs in the office for touch base for some reason the manager thought it was a cute idea to have like a stack of crosswords for us to do it was so dumb i would go into work sometimes like 10 to 30 minutes early um so i was just sitting there i think i was like maybe 15 minutes early i was just sitting there and i did like me and my one of my co-workers me and him we kind of shared the same paper so we were just like cross off stuff whatever so then when we would go upstairs to go you know do touch base me and him were, we're like towards the front like to where all the managers come you know tell us all our information and blah 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 at the same time they had a crossword on the board so like i'm listening to her but i'm not paying attention really because i'm literally doing the crossword and he kind of is too but i'm standing closest towards the board and he's like you know across over here so every time he would see a word he would just basically either take the marker or something and just like mark it because we're listening but he's like what can they do okay whatever so then she's talking about i guess talking about theft and then she starts talking she was like okay there's like these two people that usually come into the store um they're homeless um i call them river people and we're both like skirt like me and my coworker, we look at each other like what like she she called them river people because they live by the river and she like they smell like they look dirty you know you could tell like you know they're homeless they're river people and stuff like that and she kind of laughs and everybody else kind of laugh and me and my co-worker we literally just look at each other and i'm just like back to my crossword because she didn't she really called those homeless people river people yeah they may be homeless and yes they may live by the river but you made it sound like it was just a completely different species of humans like bitch what the fuck is wrong with you like they're people just like hey there's like these homeless people kind of you know they kind of come in you know watch out for them and why did she even make that assumption that like they steal honestly the tell all signs may have been true he may have had a brand new like beats headphone girl i'm not about to ask where he got it from or how he got it but obviously she's just gonna automatically like assume that he stole it like and all and even that the woman was white and the man was black because she made that a point too to say that i'm just like <sighs> really because that, that rubbed me the wrong way and i'm glad i wasn't the only one because like whenever me and that co-worker in particular every time like we worked he would always be on cash wrap and i would either be in the fitting room or on the floor so um usually whenever i work with people that i like i always hope that we don't work in the same area because when we work in the same area we can't go to lunch together so me and him are usually never in the same area so we went to lunch together and then we talked about that ish and he was just as he was just as upset as me like he really like she really called them river people like they were just a whole nother species of like people like a whole nother like what what oh yeah let's talk about the cash wrap and floor thing real quick okay usually when you go to forever 21 you may see the same people working on cash wrap 
and here is why it's because those people are the one who gets the email captures in okay okay so basically the more emails you get the more chances you will be scheduled on cash wrap and when you're scheduled on cash wrap you get better hours you get more hours and you basically get to choose what days you want because the manager she straight up said that one time like um we're gonna put some of you guys on the register um and like if you do really good um you'll get better hours you can choose whatever days you want to choose whatever you just come talk to me and tell me you know i'll just put you there it doesn't really matter i was like okay whatever so like i was trained like one day i was trained i think the first day i was short 12 dollars. i was like damn i'm short 12 dollars. like how did that happen like I don't, even, I don't even know how that happened. Maybe I was nervous or something. I'm not sure. And then like after that, they barely scheduled me on Cash Wrap, I guess because of that. And like, I thought it was kind of suspicious because uh, I remember one time when we were closing and like the managers were counting money or whatever. And then like the managers low key put a girl on blast. and was like, girl, you $100 short. And she's like, $100 short, how? And they're like, I don't know, but you $100 short. I'm like, oh my God. This was kind of when the first manager, the first store manager was there too. And um, still to that day, they was like scheduling her. Wow, I said scheduling weird. <laughs> they were putting her on cash wrap. Still, I'm like, I'm $12 short. 12 versus 100. Who do you want to put on there? But every single time I got the chance to go on cash wrap, I was never ever short, okay? And I was real good and real confident on cash wrap because I love being on cash wrap because the time went by so fast, so fast, and most of the time when you get cash wrap, it's usually an eight hour shift. Sometimes it's closing, but most of the time it's eight hour shifts. So I was getting like real comfortable, but I still wasn't getting the email captures because honestly, I like, got time for these people to be like spelling out their email address and whatever, and I gotta ask them like, yo, like I don't like I don't care. But that's like Forever 21's big thing. They want to get as many email captures as possible. Well, yo mm. and obviously we want to get as many as possible because we want to be on cash wrap because like we don't have to deal with customers on the floor and you know whatever and I mentioned I think in my first my part one video where I was saying how you know how I'm in and out or whatever so I try to get the emails but like sometimes the lines are too long I just say fuck it and I'm just like you know ringing and stuff like that get the money you know blah 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 I'm just like real good at it but they never they rarely scheduled me rarely scheduled me so usually whenever I pick up shifts it would be you know basically any shifts or whatever but some of them would be cash wrap because there was at a point of time when they were hiring a lot of employees they were like okay we got all these new people we could get them to cover our shifts and then a lot of them weren't registered trained so what they would do is like they will go in for they shift they'd be like okay are you registered trained they're like no so they have to like try to switch with somebody in the store somehow and like the managers weren't having it or whatever so um like they said now it's like if you're going to have someone like you know cover your shift try to find out what you're doing that day and try to find someone that you need to be covered so it's like if you know you're always on cash wrap find someone who's registered trained and for some weird reason I was usually like if you were asking a quad who was registered trained I was usually always the only one that was registered trained the only one for some reason I don't know why so they would put me on the register or put me where close to where the registers are and they're like okay whenever the line goes I'll just hop in I was like you know doing that whatever I was picking up shift for shifts for you know register you know specifically and I was trying my hardest to get you know um email captures or whatever I was trying my hardest I think the highest I've ever gotten was like 33 percent I'm just like hey that's cute but they looking for like 90 something percent I'm like well damn I remember this one time made me so mad like I was literally at the front of the store um and I was just right there by the register so when the lines got long I hopped in so and like I didn't even do that like all day I just did it for like the first two hours because you know they were waiting for the other person to go there for register so I was just doing that you know just like hopping in whenever there's a long line or you know trying to help out or whatever and then one of the other managers I guess she had a problem with me 
which is so weird because she's the one that trained me on register but I guess she had a problem with me being on register because she told one of the employees yeah don't call for Sarah because I don't want Sarah on the register why you got a problem with me being on register I don't do anything wrong the only thing is is just I don't be getting a lot of email captures because who wants to do that yo like one time I got this one email like I asked this one lady for her email and she was like do I have to because I don't want to really be signed up on it and I was like I straight up told her you could unsubscribe from it later she's like okay <laughs> I straight up told her like you could unsubscribe from it later so I got her email and boom honestly yo like honestly I was gonna say this one thing for my secret to you, forever 21 um, employees I want you to know we will say the dumbest shit to get your email just so we could get it to higher up our percentage so we could be scheduled at the register I'm just saying so you know I'm just gonna be nice and say yo just give them your email just do it it's not gonna hurt you you could literally unsubscribe from it later just give it to them please because they probably do want to stay up there just just give them your email address it's not gonna hurt you okay it's really not I'm probably gonna talk about maybe two three other things really fast because my battery is dying really fast and I don't even know why um but I'm sorry I'm probably gonna have to make another part but this next part is going the other part is going to be about one whole thing on its own so let's talk about couples real quick there was like three couples two of them in my eyes were successful and I love them both one couple is currently in Paris right now why how why did y'all take me now, I don't know about the other couple but they still together love them they sweet the girlfriend real cute the boyfriend he kind of cute too but he get on my nerves okay but there was this other couple boyfriend real cute I talked about him actually in my last part when he was saying how it looked real good in my outfit I'm like oh it's all from here um so he had a girlfriend she was like a oh, bitch though she was like hard to talk to or get along with she was like a bitch like she was one of those girls that would be like that hated being on camera or something not because she's camera shy because I remember one time me <laughs> I think it was like me and my friend we were in the break room and um this one girl she was snapchatting and then she put the girl on snapchat and then like she was done and then and then she was like you lucky i let you put me on snapchat because i never let anybody put me on snapchat blah 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 that like like she did shit me and my friend we kind of just look at each other real quick and then like we look away and then we later talk about it like really bitch really is it that serious um but you know they both used to work on the floor together but then he got um he got moved to cash wrap because i guess he was like real good at that and she got moved to the back for back stock or stock whatever uh because she really liked doing that well apparently not only her but a whole bunch of like the kind of the og employees got were fired they were fired why because they found a, found out a whole bunch of them were stealing from the store yeah i'm like what like they stole from the store and i even asked like him like yo did your girlfriend actually get fired he was like yeah she stole from the store i'm like dude how that happened he was like well it's kind of easy to do it like he's basically said how like they could just go in the back and since they're in stock they have to put the sensors on so basically all they have to do is not put the sensor on and just take the item home so it's just like real easy to do it so but she got caught along with a whole bunch of other people there was this one guy that i did not like he wow like his attitude was just wow okay he apparently owed the store like five thousand dollars he stole five thousand dollars in merchandise like wow and i was shocked because months later i actually saw him at the store i'm just like you gonna shut your face up in here after what you did oh okay so yeah also um there were other couple not couples i mean like there's people that have like you know a boyfriend girlfriend outside of work or whatever but there was one time i caught two of them you know she had a boyfriend he had a girlfriend i caught them in the back making out And other people found out i don't even know how because it was me and one other coworker. oh i think that's how they found out i think she told everybody other people was like wow i can't believe he did that because his girlfriend is like so sweet and blah 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 blah, blah. i'm just like oh you know you can't trust nobody nowadays like 
you can't trust nobody nowadays. Trust, you can't. You can't do it. Two, two things, I will say it really fast, the camera is dying. Yo, the turnover rate at Forever 21 is ridiculously high. I don't even know how high, but it's like, if you are ever hoping to get a job at Forever 21, I like, once again, highly doubt at this point, like you should not want to work there. Just, and if you don't get like a call, I mean, wait until there's a job fair. And then also just do, just check out, check back, like either every, like at least every month check back because like every month somebody is quitting and for some crazy reason like it happened closer around the holidays people were quitting actually I remember uh, I only worked two Black Fridays well okay the second year I didn't technically work on the Black Friday I worked that Thanksgiving night and it went into Black Friday and surprisingly they actually ske they scheduled me that day on register like they scheduled me I'm just like oh interesting and like one co-worker I loved her so much and I was so happy like because that was her last night working and she was always on register and I actually got to work next to her and I was like so upset I was like oh my god this is our last night together and I will miss you and I love you forever and I still love her like that was her last night like she uh, uh, you know left and I was like damn 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 but yeah no their turnover rate is crazy high not only for like you know uh employees like sales associate check back every month um managers check out every few months like if you want to be a manager check back every few months because they're also quitting dropping like fr fr fries flies as well and then the last thing i'm gonna say which is i'm just in it on a positive boy these employees yo some of them were so cool like i love a whole bunch of them to death um there was this one girl she was relatively new and i got to know her she's real cool but bruh to me she was the definition of an african queen she was gorgeous like her melanin was popping for the gods like oh, she was so gorgeous she wore heels like almost every day not like super high heels but she wore heels every day because she's like she wants to be that woman that like wears heel every day all day so she has to get used to it i'm like wow that's smart but i don't do that i only do it for like shows and sometimes when i want to be extra um but like yo oh my god even without makeup i'm just like why are you so pretty like get out my face like she's so gorgeous she's so cool or whatever like i think she was cool with everybody which was a good thing and a bad thing because she was also kind of cool with that one co-worker that i did not like she was going to be mentioned in this part but guess what she's lucky enough to get her own part so that's going to be next video she's getting her own part hopefully that video is going to be much shorter but damn, I miss that girl because she was so gorgeous. I loved her so much. Like, god damn. If I was a guy, I would try to snatch her ass up. Damn. Damn. Anyways, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys aren't tired of this. I hope you guys aren't thinking that Sarah, you just pet petty and bitter. Because, okay, I might be, but I mean, you know, whatever. I'm going to go because my camera is dying and it's really hot and i'm literally running out of space on all my cars to even finish this so you know this is it this is it for now um i'll come up with the next part soon and you know whatever we'll figure this out okay i hope you guys like this video if you did please like it also comment down below about your crazy experiences working at a retail place or whatever subscribe if you haven't already because we're trying to get this channel up to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and i think it'd be pretty cool if we can make that happen we're getting close to me close is halfway there i'm just like yes girl we're getting there we're getting there so yeah okay i'm gonna go because it's very hot i gotta take my dog out and yeah okay bye